Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you my own personal approach to learning how to design websites. So any of you that follow me know that I actually didn't go to design school. So all of the web design skills that I have now and I use and I'm able to sell have all been self-taught. So today I'm going to be sharing with you just a couple of approaches that I have taken over the years and actually still very much take today in my web design career that has allowed me to not only learn, but to continue develop my skills as a web designer. Now I'm pretty confident that this is like what 99% of designers do, but maybe just don't talk about it. Or at least I'm convinced that 99% of good designers do this and still do this today. Before we jump in, let me know how you currently get your web design inspiration and how you are perhaps self-teaching yourself at the moment, or even if you're at design school, let me know down in the comments, I'm super interested. Now guys, in order to develop yourself as a web designer, the bit of advice that I'm about to give you today, I think you are gonna find super, super useful. So make sure you stick around and listen to it. Now the first thing that I would do when starting out as a web designer was go to a website that I would find inspirational. So as you can see here, we have a website, which is Apple, everybody knows what it is, or who they are, shall I say. They're pretty much top of their game, not only with their technology and their products, but actually with their website as well. So it's actually a very good place to go to draw inspiration from and learn from. So what I would do when I was starting out was I would go to a website such as Apple. Let's go to a product page, for example. So take this page, for example, it's, a, it's an incredible page. But what is great here is looking at how they use all of their negative space around here, how they use their font weighting, their font sizes, their buttons, the image sizes, and all of those important elements within a website which new designers actually overlook and don't quite identify. So what I recommend you do is visit the likes of apple.com or another inspirational website and I want you to copy it. I want you to copy it as best as you possibly can so you end up with a like for like version. Now, you might think this sounds pretty weird, but actually what this does is it teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you about font sizing, line heights, negative space, colors, image sizes, all of those important things that actually define a good designer from a bad designer. So the more that you can visit websites that you find inspirational and are top of their game, and you can copy them, you're actually gonna find this super beneficial. Not only do you become a good web designer, but you're actually gonna become more proficient within your web design tool, whether you're using Sketch or Adobe XD or Photoshop or Figma or anything like that. So it's great practice. Now I just wanna be clear here that I'm telling you to copy this solely for educational purposes. I don't wanna see anyone going to the likes of apple.com, copying it for a client and then trying to sell it because it's illegal and it's not cool. Now, where else do I go for inspiration? Well, I actually go to dribble.com and I have done for a very long time. Now, if you're not sure what dribble.com is, it's essentially a community of high level designers which go there and share their work. And it's a very fantastic place for you to go and find inspiration from other top level designers, be it uh, UI design, mobile design, and more importantly, web design. So go and check that out. So here we are at dribble.com and actually what I used to do and what I actually still very much do is turn to this place in order to find inspiration for my projects. So let's say you wanted to create a real estate website. And here we've got loads of inspirational designs. So let's take this one for example, it's catch on my eye, I would click this. Cool, and basically what I would do is look at this design and think, okay, this looks great, but what is great about it? Now there's two things that you can do here when you're learning, you could go ahead and try and recreate this in your own style or using your own colors, your own fonts and things like that. Because again, it's gonna teach you these fundamental processes in order to build a website, be it line height, white space, font sizing, all of those things. So I often get asked, where do I turn for inspiration when I start a new web design project? And actually the answer is a turn to dribble. Uh, it's something I've done for a very long time and it probably isn't gonna change anytime soon. So what I would do is I would find a style, a design, a visual composition or layout that I feel uh, resonates with me and the project that I'm working on and I will take inspiration from it. And I'll even go as far to somewhat copy it but in my own style to meet the client's brand or requirements and we'll touch on this uh, a little bit more in a minute. Uh, so where else will I go for inspiration? A great place that you can go is to a website called Awards. Um, the websites on here are absolutely fucking insane. So 
I definitely recommend you go and check this out. So if we scroll down, for example, you'll have like sites of the day, uh, nominees for awards, and you know, looking at them, they don't look like all that much. But you know, trust me, if I was to just click on one, let's go. There we go, mobile site, or should we go this one, Lunya? So if we click on this arrow here, it's going to load it within a new tab. Cool. So we're here. We're at a new website, and if we scroll down. Just, just see how things are loading, see how the visual composition is, how things are laid out, font sizes, all of those things. Try to understand how the website works and how it functions. Uh, and again, for educational purposes, I would even recommend that you go and try and reproduce this within Figma or Adobe XD. Yeah, always turn to inspirational sites or turn to websites that you can gather inspiration from and utilize uh, the, the work of other great designers and other great companies and try and find a way to utilize that within your own website. Now, I need to be clear here, don't just copy things like for like and start selling it. This is purely for educational purposes and this is how I learned to design all by myself. So as I briefly mentioned a minute ago about the line between being inspired and somewhat copying. So there is definitely a line and I'm gonna try and explain to you where I'm at with this line. So I'm always browsing the internet and I'm coming across websites that just look absolutely insane in my opinion so what i'll do is i'll make a, a a note of that link or what i would do is take a screenshot or something and then later when i'm starting a new project i have this bank of um, inspiration that i can go to in order to get an idea for colors fonts uh, layouts uh, all of the things that are important that make a website unique and then i can start producing my own visual composition from sorry my own visual composition from my bank of inspiration. So I've got a website here uh, and as you can see uh, it's, it's a fairly interesting layout at the top and actually what I've done here is I've utilized this within my own personal portfolio website. Now I was really inspired by this because I quite liked how the text was uh, you know flipped around on its side going vertical rather than horizontal. Uh, we've got nice bold text down here and we've got an image that takes up the, the entire right side. So to be honest, it's, it's fairly simplistic, um, but I think what drew, uh, drew me to it most was this text that was here. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to take inspiration from this and somewhat copy the layout and use it for my own agenda. So if I go to my portfolio here, you're gonna notice some similarities. Mostly the text that is sat down in the bottom left-hand corner and the text that sits uh, vertically in the center of the page. Now, you'll notice that although there are similarities with the way this layout is, I have not directly copied it. I have been fairly strongly inspired by the layout and I have repurposed it for my own agenda. It's got my own fonts, my own words, my own images, own colors. Uh, just the, the, the layout and the visual composition is what is very similar. And this is my point that I'm trying to make here, is when you go and learn and try and teach yourself web design, I do encourage you to be inspired by other websites that are out there that you love or you find very, very fascinating, but don't copy them and resell them. Copy them for educational purposes to learn how things are done. Be inspired by other sites that are existing around the website and use that inspiration to create your own designs and put your own stamp on them. So there's nothing wrong guys with being inspired by designs that are already out there and you can put your own spin on them. I think that's how creativity works. There's absolutely no point in recreating conventions or reinventing the wheel um, when you know, there's a lot of inspiration out there for you. So guys, hopefully you found this really useful. This is a real insight as to how I still design websites today. I will always go to find inspiration and take that inspiration and use it for my own agenda, for the own the project that I'm working on, to fit the client's needs and requirements and brand and, and all of that stuff. So don't try and be a smart ass and always go from scratch when it's not necessary. You're gonna learn a lot more by taking inspiration from those that already exist and already have done it and put your own stamp on it. And it's gonna be a lot quicker process for you. So hopefully you can go away and start practicing this and it's gonna totally up your website design game. Now, again, I'm, I'd love to know how you guys are currently finding your website inspiration. Do let me know down in the comments. Also, if you've got any questions, put that down in the comments as well. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all the love you guys give me. And if you want, there is a Facebook group 
that is available to you if you want to have direct access to me or be in a community of other designers that are trying to improve their website design game or learn how to start a web design business there's going to be lots of useful information in there for you so that's all i've got for you today guys stick around to the end screen and you can select and watch the next video which i reckon you will find useful as well